guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've come up with this soft cut crease eye makeup look and yes it is only focused on the eyes, hence why the face is already done. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat and Instagram. I will link everything down below for you guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. Here's my next video. I am starting off using the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Creme de Nude for my eye base. Because my eyeshadow base has dried out a little bit, I'm adding this Inglot Dura Line to intensify the cream base. And here you can see me applying two drops. I'm going to buff up my eyeshadow base with the 142 Concealer Buffer Brush by Zoeva. To avoid any creasing after adding the eyeshadow base, I'm applying a translucent powder. Using the Morphe Brushes 12 NB palette, I am going in with the first shade which is that lightest shade in the palette and I'm applying it just so that my next eyeshadow is glad on well. Going in with the 227 Luxe Soft Definer brush by Zoeva. I'm applying my transition shade in 44 Matte Sienna by Kiko. Now keeping your eyes open and mapping out where your crease actually folds. You see that line? Now everyone's eye shape is different and just map out where that line is on your eyes and that's where you want to add your transition colour. Using this eyeshadow palette by Morphe in 35N, I'm grabbing that light brown shade just to build up on my crease slowly and gradually. Make sure that the shadows stay in the crease and don't go on the eyelid or above the crease either because that's the whole point of it. Putting my colour up again, I'm going in with a little bit of a darker brown shade to add more depth and dimension. Using the windscreen wiping motions to literally add these colours and blend everything out. You don't want to go up or down, nothing. I'm then using a clean blending brush by Kiko to blend out any harsh lines. Using the 238 Luxe Precise Shader Brush by Zoeva, I'm grabbing a dark shade and I'm carefully defining the crease just a little bit more I'm adding colors by colors but just going in very carefully and then I'm blending it out with the um, 227 Luxe brush using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and adding this all over the eyelids and this will do the trick of cutting the crease like as you can see it's already in the crease for you like you don't want to blend it out with the eyeshadow that's already in the crease like you want to keep that harsh line there i am blending that eyeshadow base out with the 142 concealer buffer brush but like making sure you don't want to blend it out too much you want to keep that harsh line there so i will be going back in with the other eyeshadows for my lid shades, I am using the 102 Gold Shade and the 169 White Shade by Kiko Cosmetics and I'm going to be applying this with the 232 Luxe Classic Shade Brush and first of all I'm applying the White Shade first and then I'm going to mix in the Gold Shade just slightly so that it complements my dress and my necklace. Going in with the 228 Lux Beast Brush and I'm just applying shadow on the lower lash line. I'm going in with that same Lux Beast Brush just to clean up the crease a little bit more and so that's a bit sharp. For my eyeliner, I'm using my favourite L'Oreal Paris Soup Liner in Intense Black. Yes, I'm out of focus whilst in my eyeliner, but it is what it is. I gotta do it the way I gotta do it because that's the only way I feel comfortable. But just do that kind of normal winged eyeliner. Whew. 
to define my lower lash line, I'm going in with the 180 Black Kiko eyeshadow using the 230 Lux pencil brush by Zoeva, and I'm just doing it on the outer corners of the lash line. I'm going in with the 227 brush just to blend out the lower lash line. I'm defining my crease with that black eyeshadow using that same pencil brush and using very light pressure I'm applying the shade because I don't want it to be too harsh I just want it to be a little bit defined I feel like a look is not complete without an inner corner highlight so to open up my eyes a bit I am using the Balm Cosmetics Mary Luminizer For the mascara, I'm just using the L'Oreal Paris Miss Manga Mascara and I'm applying this to my top eyelashes just before I apply my false eyelashes. For my eyelashes, I'm using the Ilio Eyelashes in 107 and I applied this with the Duo Eyelash Glue. So for my waterline and my tightline, I'm using the Rimmel London Jumbo Pencil in 008 called Blackmail. So now that the face is done, I'm going in with the Spectrum Brush in A10 called Feeling Fancy. And I'm using the Balm Cosmetics Mary Luminizer to highlight my cheekbones, my nose and my cupid's bow. Finally, moving on to the lips, I'm using Matte Cherry Lip Planner with NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Morocco. I really wanted to go matte on the eyes and then go really like red, orangey, bold on my lips. Hence why I am mixing these two colours to get the perfect shade. Finally, to set everything in place, I'm using the one and only MAC Fix Plus. This will not only set your face, it will make your makeup last all day long, and it will also make your highlight pop. I, 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 I,